treatment could provide a major leap forward for babies born with HIV. Channel 5's Naomi De Lucia explains. In the 80s, contracting HIV was considered a death sentence. In the 90s, HIV was the number one cause for death among Americans from the ages 25 to 44. Fast forward to today, there are antiviral drugs that can keep people infected with the virus alive into their 70s and 80s. There are drugs that can lower a person's risk of catching HIV to almost zero. A baby girl in Mississippi who was born with HIV has been cured. In 2013, a little girl known as the Mississippi baby made headlines, becoming the first case of HIV remission in a toddler. But two years later, the virus returned. It's taken more than a decade for researchers to replicate that functional cure. Johns Hopkins pediatrician Deborah Persaud is part of the clinical trial team using art therapy or antiretroviral therapy a cocktail of drugs administered within the first 48 hours of birth. It's important to do it very early because we think it prevents the virus from really establishing a very large foothold. Standard treatment of babies with HIV typically starts two to three months after birth and continues for decades. This new trial included 54 newborns who were given art therapy within days of their birth. Now, at almost six years old, after stopping their HIV medication, four of these children have achieved remission. It's a small number of cases, it's four, but it's really transformative for our field. 130,000 infants are infected every year with HIV, and not every child born with a mother with HIV is infected. It can be passed from mother to child during pregnancy, during the delivery process, or with breastfeeding. With today's medical breakthroughs, I'm Naomi De Lucia with Channel 5 News.